Now, there are many ways in C++ Builder XE3 to build database applications. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, one way using the client data set and local tables. And then in future videos, I'll show you how to connect with uh, remote SQL databases and also multi-tier applications. So first we'll say File New, C++ Builder FireMonkey Desktop Application. And we'll put down a client data set. And the client data set is one way to access data. You could right mouse click on the client data set and say load from my base table. Client data set supports loading data from XML files and a CDS or client data set file. So we'll open up the BioLife client data set. It's part of the sample data that comes with C++ Builder XC3. We can right mouse click and choose the live bindings wizard from the pop-up menu. And the way that live bindings wizard shows up is in tools, options, live bindings. We've got this checkbox that's off by default, but you can turn it on saying display live binding wizard in the right click menu. And in XZ3, you can use the visual live bindings designer to bind data from a data source, from a client data set, from a, a DB Express SQL database by right mouse clicking and bringing up the live bindings wizard. So what I'm gonna do is choose to link a control with a field and that control we can choose from several different ones. I'm gonna choose a T-Edit and I'm gonna get the data from the client data set. And I'm gonna put the common name for this data set which is a data set of, of fish. So we'll have the common name and we're going to add a data source navigator to move through the data in the client data set and we'll add a control label onto the T-Edit box. So now we've got the, the bind navigator at the top, so we can move the edit box up and it's got its uh, label with it. And the first fish, uh, its common name was clown, trigger fish. Uh, bind source DB was also created. And the bind source DB is a, a connection from the client data set to the binding uh, elements. We'll align the navigator to the top of the client area just so it's there. And the bind navigator has additional buttons that we can choose. Go down to the visual buttons property and turn on apply updates and cancel updates. And that gives us access to all the buttons. If you just wanna move through the, the rows of data, then you could turn on just the first prior next and last and turn off all the, the edit buttons. We'll also right mouse click and do another binding. We'll link a control with a field and we'll put an edit box again. In this case, we'll use the bind source DB that was created for us. And we'll put the length uh, in inches of the fish. And we'll add a control label to it. And now we have the length in inches. We'll put that up here. So there's two more columns that we want to get from the client data set. One is a text blob field. So we'll right mouse click, say live binding wizard, link control with field. We'll choose the T memo. And we'll add, we'll use the bind source DB. And then we'll finish. And now we've got this text blob in a memo field, which has some, some data about uh, the fish. And in the memo, we'll turn on word wrap. And the last thing we'll add is, uh, is a graphic control, because the other part that's in the client data set is an image of the fish. So we'll say T image control. And we'll connect that to the bind source DB. And then it's the graphic column name. And we're done. And we can make this uh, grow to be the size that we want. And it'll scale the image. And there's the image of our fish. And we can save all of this out to our hard drive. And we'll save the, the source file. There's the pre-compiled header and then the main program, which is our CPP BioLife. We can run the application, and we can step through the different fish and get the data. We can also use the View Live Bindings Designer, and down below I've docked the binding designer so that I can visualize it and see what's happening while I'm working with the controls and make it look a little better. Here's the bind source DB, and here's the navigator, Here's the different fields. We'll just clean things up. And we'll, we'll spend a lot more time in another video on the 
live binding designer and visual live bindings. But this just shows you how easy it is to put together a C++ database application that you can run on 32-bit windows, 64-bit windows, and, uh, and OS X. So here's 64-bit version, and again, uh, it works the same as 32-bit. Same thing will run on, on Macintosh as well. So that's how easy it is to build a, a simple database application in C++ Builder using the Visual Live Bindings Designer, the Live Binding Wizard, and using the client data set in your C++ applications. There are many other ways to do database access. There's our DB Express set of components. We'll see those in the future. We also have support for building multi-tier applications with DataSnap clients and servers. You can also use DBGo for ADO. So if you have some ADO data sources, you can get at it there. And we have support for direct components for talking to our Interbase database, Interbase server, Interbase to go, uh, Interbase desktop editions. Uh, lots of controls here for doing table and query operations. So that was just a first quick look at building a C++ uh, database application, in this case using the client data set.